In this video, I'll show you how to customize the label text on a particular label. In this case, we'll change Vashon Island into Fashion Island. We'll start in Mapbox Studio. I'm going to click New Style, Use Basic and Customize. And here in Studio, let's go to Vashon. And here, I'm going to click on the text label and see that the layer driving this value that appears is Settlement Minor Label. Now what I'd like to do is style with the data condition. If the name comes through as Vashon in the data, I want to overwrite that with a custom value. And since this is grayed out, I see that this settlement minor label is a layer that's part of a component called place labels, and I can set a manual override to enable all these options. So now I can use my data condition, and I know that if the name of the place comes through as Vashon, what I would like to do is actually overwrite that with the value fashion. Cool. So that's how it appears. Click done. And for fallback value, I'm just going to simplify things so that I don't have to set another data condition. For this one down here, it's another layer. The natural point label layer is part of a different component, natural features. Here again, I want to style with the data condition, so I'm going to override. I'll simplify this expression and then set my data condition. If the name of this label comes through as fashion island, then what I want instead of that data is the custom value fashion island. Cool. All right, looks good. And now what I'm going to do is just verify that these values persist across all zoom levels, because what I will find here is that at this zoom level, 12.52, we've got another layer, a third layer, settlement major label, for which we can also set a manual override and do the same data condition. If this comes through as Vashon, the name comes through as Vashon, what I would like is to use the custom value Vashon. Cute. All right, we have applied data conditions to three different labels, overwriting the data that is underlying the map with uh, our custom values. But what if I want to hide these labels all together? Well, I could do exactly what I did before and just replace this value with a blank space, but it's kind of a workaround. What I'm actually going to do is for each of these three layers, I'm going to filter them at the data level. So for settlement minor, what I'm going to do is go to select data and I can see that this is locked because uh, override won't give me access to uh, filter the data. I'm actually going to eject this layer from the component. So I'm going to go to place labels, more options, eject. Now I can edit this layer independently. So now I'll go to the data viewer and apply this filter. I want to allow data through as long as it is not with the name Vashon. That's my condition. So this Vashon just disappeared. So our work is done there. Let's switch layers. We'll go to style. I see that that label is no longer appearing, but I know that this one will. So again, go to the layer. So now I can go to select data. I see Vashon right here, and I'm going to apply that filter. I will let the data through as long as the name is not Vashon. Now it's filtered out. Last one. This value down here, Fashion Island, Natural Point Label, will go to the component, more options, eject. And now I can edit that label individually, go to the data viewer, apply the filter, add the condition, as long as the name is not Fashion Island. And there it goes from green to red. So now we're done here. 
and let's preview. It appears that all three of those labels will never be seen again. We've suppressed them at the data level. I'll publish our changes here. And let's take a look in our incognito window. So that's how to hide a label completely at the data level and prevent it from ever rendering on your map. Thanks for watching this Mapbox video and keep building.